Good morning, folks. As you can see by the title and by the signage, I am on the South Fork Trail this morning. On my way, eventually, to San Gorgonio Peak Mountain. As you can see, I got a full backpack. I'm gonna overnight this one like I did last year with Jake at Fish Creek Saddle. Dry Lake, which is really the first campground between here and San Gregorio from the South Fork Trail is more popular. It's closer if you've got water accessible at camp. But I think Fish Creek Saddle is the way to go even though you gotta carry a bunch of extra water up about 850 feet again over 1.1 miles it's just gorgeous at that saddle if you haven't been check out my other video from last year which I'll put a card up here but uh just me today, like I said, Jake is in school. It's a Monday and that parking lot is empty. It's gonna be beautiful solitude up there. Don't mind the crowds. Love making fun friends with people on the trail, but love the solitude as well. Sometimes you just gotta get away from the crowds. May or may not try to make it to the top today. We'll see how I'm feeling. Got on the trail about 8.15, so 8.30. We'll see. That's no fun. Just got stung in the neck. Probably around here. By a freaking bee. Gosh dang. Just flying up around in there. I don't know if it got caught in my hair or what. Swatting at it with my hat. And eventually just a little stink, so. Sure, when I tried to get that stinger out, I pushed a ton of venom in there, or whatever it's called. What do bees have? Venom or poison? What do they have? Well, Horse Meadow historic site. Open. Yeah, looks like they hang their tack up here or something. Kind of cool. It's a cool piece of barbed wire. Got spigots. Why is there no outhouse? Maybe that used to be. Wonder if this still runs. Nope. That's kind of a bummer.
Horse Meadow. Nice place to take a little breather and then get back on the trail here. Jeez, it's the second time I'm trying to film a bird and a bee shows up. We prefer not to get stung again. Yeah, I just missed a big old mule deer out there. There he is, or she. That's San Gregonio in the distance. Back there is Poop Out Hill. <laughs> That's where people hike to. Uh, to uh, look at Sanji from a distance and then decide not to go. Never hiked up there. Felt like it wasn't worth it. I think it's a quarter of a mile, but I can see Sanji just fine from here. <laughs> and I know how much I have to climb to get to the top, so. Oh, that is very dry. Where are those little duckies gonna go when it's all dry? We'll find something. Hopefully the lodgepole spring is running. Here's what we're gonna do tired of carrying that weight I'm gonna camp here even though my permit is for up at Fish Creek Saddle it's dead I've not seen a single person on the trail so this little area where there's campsites is empty there's another area up there that I think is even larger not a soul I want to hike up to the top today it's quarter to one I'm gonna set up camp and uh, eat my lunch and then uh, start busting and move because we've got plenty of time to make it up and back. Um, but it'd be kind of nice to get back before it was dark. So, uh, so let's get it done. everyone else does I'm sure it's fairly common but I just keep all the stuff sacks for the bags the tent well I don't bring my tent stuff bag but uh you know a little pillow anything that's got a stuff sack a pad I throw in the tent at the foot of the at the foot of the uh, tent so I know exactly where every single bag is when uh I get ready to break camp in the morning. Let's see what we have in for lunch. We got ourselves a delicious pastrami wrap. And I'm hungry. Really, really like these raspberries. And these little uh, 
human gear containers. I've had them for a couple of years. Check these out if you don't have them. They're pretty cool. I carry gum and stuff in them, but I never put berries in. I've taken to putting uh, some berries in. Holds, holds the right portion for a day hike, a little snack. Mm, raspberries. Mm. I think I'll hang my food over there. There's where the food's hanging. Camp set up. And it's two o'clock, so we gotta get rolling because I think it's about six miles. I should have looked at the map. Uh five miles maybe up so I got 10 miles to to kill so let's get going got a lot less weight <laughs> thank goodness Lodge pool spring is up here this is another section of uh, campgrounds and as you can see it is absolutely empty this creek saddle camp this is this is actually a really nice place puts you just that much closer but man that last mile or that last half mile whoo that is a climb now we go to San G. It levels out a bit. It's pretty easy for a while. And uh, yeah, still got, I think, 1,500 feet. I haven't checked, but I think that's what it is. We'll make it. We'll make it. Here we go. It's gonna be a long day. There's San Jacinto. On the home stretch. I am pushing the envelope. little visit some photos which is great since I had somebody there just too windy to stay up there for too long not to mention the sun is going bye bye I will be in the dark but that's okay like I said before got the lamp and uh, it'll be bright it'll be light for a while still got a ways for the Sun to go down behind the mountains completely but uh, the further I can get down. Yeah, I probably have maybe another three miles. 
before camp. <laughs> Man, kind of, I'm excited about just chilling tomorrow here at camp before I leave and having an easy six mile hike out, but gal, I'm beat. It's just about 10 o'clock. Um, I wanted to just put my long johns on and climb into bed. I'm, I'm beat. I don't think I'm going to eat anything. I said it's 10 o'clock, so maybe watch a little bit of, of a movie. So good night. We'll see you in the morning. Well, it's 10 o'clock, packed up, relaxed, had my breakfast. Uh, but before I head out, I wanna come out here and just hang out by a dry lake and take in some of the views and get some sun, warm up, check out, check out, uh, Where did I go? I'm still, I'm still foggy brained. I went to San Gregorio. Um, yeah, just uh, get some views of the dry lake and man, it's just been, just been me the whole time. The only people I saw were those folks that came up from Vivian Creek that were camping at the top last night. And uh, that's it. Haven't seen a single soul coming up or going down, so. It's been nice. Well, it has taken me some time to get moving this morning. My ankle, I bruised the bone, I think last week, uh, when I was hiking San Jacinto. And um, I felt it yesterday, but it was excruciating. But uh, I've loosened the top of my boot, helped a teeny bit. And I think the reality is the Advil and the, uh, and the mile and a half or two miles of hiking has finally worked out the, the kink in my ankle. So I'm moving good now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a little break, drop my pack, and hike up to Poop Out Hill, just so I can say I've done it. So this is Poop Out Hill. <laughs> and this is the perfect San Gregorio lookout. Just taking a little rest break here at this horseshoe meadow. Took my boots off, let my socks dry, let my feet rest. Uh, really just two miles from the trailhead, so it's still early in the day. It's what, two o'clock, quarter after two, so figured why not enjoy the 
peace and serenity a little bit longer and then uh, bust it down to the truck and go get something good to eat that was peaceful I enjoyed that didn't mean to stay that long but if you do stop here you'll get cell service and you can check your social media or text your family or call somebody text whatever anyways all right here we go I guess I can officially call this one complete because it made it to the bottom and it didn't die normally I wouldn't enjoy a Dale donut but Man, that's delicious.